Hey guys, Joe here and welcome to my channel Not So Average Joe. So, episode 5 of Stranger Things. Um, I'm back here, I'm going straight into my um, next episode from the previous one. I'm doing them both on the same night, so I'm still sweating to death, I'm still covered in wet patches. This is horrible, horrible hot weather right now. Um, so yeah, if you see me wiping my eyes because I'm getting sweat in my eyes like I am now, or you see me finishing off my pizza, that's just, you know, you can't do anything about it. I'm going to be eating and I'm going to be sweating. That's that's all I can say, really. Uh, I'm not going to bother recapping too much of the previous episode because I presume you've already watched it and you've already seen my, you know, brief discussion at the end of the video. But just very briefly, Nancy and Mrs. Driscoll, who's about to explode, um, the end of the cliffhanger there. You've got the kids, you've got Dustin and... The, the two lovers, I'm going to call them the two lovers for now because they're putting it end, end up that way. Getting trapped with um, Lucas's sister in this facility, which is going down, this lift that's going down into this facility at Starcorp. You have the Mind Flayer has now got loads and loads more victims. The whole town's being turned into, into these slaves, these possessed slaves with the Mind Flayer within them, bits of the Mind Flayer within them. And that was the end of the episode, that was a cliffhanger, really interesting development there and all of the kids now all of them know about Billy about the mind flare being back the fact that part of him was in Billy but and they probably presume that Heather might also be infected but what they also don't realize they might not realize is that Billy's not the only one Billy has a mind flare in him they might not realize that he can go into other people as well Anyway, let's get straight into the episode. This is episode 5 of Stranger Things, which is titled The Flayed, which is fitting because the flayed are the people that have been flayed, what I've just been talking about. All of those people in the town of Hawkins, along with Billy and Heather, etc. They've been flayed. I'm guessing that's what the episode is about. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Let's go. Okay, natural reaction to a lift plummeting into the ground. Come on, would you use the word groin? You'd use the word dick, let's be honest. Okay, now they're going to get out and find a secret facility that the Russians have been hiding. Again, I don't know any lift elevator in the UK that actually opens up on the roof. It's always completely sealed, so that if you're stuck in the lift, you will actually die. In America, they seem to always have shafts where you can get out, or doorways that you can get out into the shaft anyway. You're not going to be able to climb out of that. No chance. Right, you're going to come across the farm now. Pest farm. No, it isn't this place, so no. It is something else. Oh, Lynx! Look at that! Silver Cat. It's the Russians. So these are like all abandoned properties and they're going to. I'm guessing the company bought out all the land. Silver Cat. Do you think all of the owners of these houses, or the original owners, are some of the people that have been taken over by the Mind Flayer? I mean, no, they look like they've been abandoned for a while, so I don't think that's the case. Sounds like so, it does sound like some sort of electricity, magnetic, electrical field. That sort of um, it's below yeah. us. In the basement. Indeed. That's like a proper facility. Look at that staircase. Oh, he's just got back on his motorbike. This psychopath. Insanely strong psychopath. He's probably infected with this 
mind flayer himself, otherwise how is he so strong and powerful to be able to strangle someone with one hand? Some scientists in there. Yeah. Hawkins PD, hands in the air. Don't make me say it again. They're Russian. English! You speak English? I can't understand you. <laughs> so the fact they're bringing them boxes to that facility means they're manufacturing whatever that green stuff in the the canister was somewhere else. So I'm guessing this is where they're manufacturing it. How they time up so quick as well? He, it's probably from the Russian military. He's gonna. Going to shoot. Easily get out of that if he knows basic martial arts at least. You don't put that thing away. I'm gonna blow some daylight into that thick skull of yours. No, you won't do that. Why is that? Because you're a policeman. Policemen have rules. And not in America, they don't. <laughs> Sorry, but have you not watched the news? One, two, three. As you can see, he's willing to do it, and he knows basic martial arts, so he knew that was going to happen. Go for gold, good. And I grab his machine gun, Joyce. It's a better choice. This literally is the terminal. You've got to kill him, burn him in lava. Oh shit. Should we Joyce isn't a good throw? Good choice. I should have done that with the mayor as well. <laughs> it's just craziness. They seem to be able to escape and think and run a lot faster than this man here. Somehow. But when they're miles away, they wait and hesitate time. Come on, drive. No, too late. He looks like on a sword and they go, yeah. God damn it. Still think it was our government? That must be inspired by the Terminator, come on. I still want to find out what this man has in relation to this whole project. I'm guessing, guessing the other two are scientists. What is he? He's just one of the ringleaders, part of the Russian military intelligence. I don't know. Pick up Jonathan. Hello. Jonathan. Do you realize what time it is? Listen to me, okay? I'm at the hospital with your school. What? I need you to put me on the phone. It's your brother. What? He's not there. He's... Can't. Uh, he's not even here. Where is he? Is he safe? Why wouldn't he be safe? Because of what she saw. She had all them black veins turn up in her face and black eyes. She's clearly infected. Magnets. Do you know magnet? 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 Yes, magnet. Yeah. They fell. They demagnetized. Stop working at. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, so is that because of the machines that you're working on? Machina. Machina. Yes. Machina. Yes. Machina. Yes. Machina. Oh, not the car. The machines at Hess Farm where we can. Why? You learned that Smirnoff over there. Alexei. Smirnoff is Russian and works for Starcourt. Two uh, things we already knew. Thought we knew, but now we know no because I confirmed them. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, why don't you confirm whether this baby will start, huh? I love the little, little arguments. You're with someone who clearly you're fixing that machine. He's obviously a mechanic. He's good with stuff like that. Let him fix your car. Stop. Stop. Do you hear me? I said shut, you damn! Oh Jesus. That's why he says stop. Stop. Mm-hmm. He knows that word at least. I thought this friend of yours lived in Illinois. He's not really a friend, it's more like an acquaintance. So we're walking to Illinois? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna walk to Illinois. Just saying. <laughs> what? What? 
He's not infected with anything, is he? Oh, is L spying at me? God damn it. Should have guessed that. I found him. Where is he? What? In the woods. What are they doing? Illinois. They're going to Illinois. Hi, Not now, Mom! I really like how their friendship's is progressing here. Only when I talk. She now needs to be really careful because she can die. It's serious that she can die now. We got the mind flare out of Will before, and he just came right back. We don't just have to stop Billy. We have to stop the mind flare. Girls just like hanging out in bathrooms. Why? Um, I don't know. Good you're question. <laughs> That's what you're concerned about right now. It's not my main concern. It's just a sub concern. I, I said she dumped your ass. That doesn't sound like a break. It wasn't. You guys do realize we can still hear everything <laughs> you're saying, right? <laughs> Inspiring. I told you. They're inspiring. Not now, Mom! Mike, open the door. Well, they found Mike at least. You're, in your You're too hole. far down. There's nowhere they can hear you. Hawkins, and if we are found, they will torture and kill us. Hey! You gotta take it easy on that thing, okay? You're gonna drain the battery. The mall just opened. So? So someone could be in range. What do you think? Petey, the mall cop, is gonna rappel down It's night time. There's no one at the mall. All right, why are you such a cranky pants? I'm gonna spend the night with Bob. Shh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we just give up on that creepy dream already. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking a leak. Look away. <laughs> look away! Ray, you can see it inside the lift. Can you redirect your stream, please? I don't want to do that. We don't even know what that is. Exactly. It could be useful. Useful? How? It could be like alien blood. It can burn through the floor. I hate to break it to you, but this is not water. But it's a liquid. And if it comes down to me drinking that shit or dying of thirst... I would rather kill one of them and drink their blood than drink that stuff. It's going to open. We've got company. I'm trying to think, where the hell could they possibly hide in that place? Oh, of course, yeah, on top of the lift. I smell children. you got to get down before the door shuts. It's not going to be that easy. Oh, maybe it is. Indiana Jones style. Oh, God. That would scare me. Just the thought of that collapsing down on my back. I was joking about the alien blood as well. It's literally burning Please, through the floor. That? I was so right. Wow. Holy mother of God. So it's like alien blood. Well, okay, we've got a xenomorph on our hands, people. It was the same thing. The exact same thing that happened to Will last year. And look at this. Look at the body temperatures. He likes it cold. What time was this attack? Last night. Right, but what time last night? Or around nine. Um, so... What time was your sauna test? Around nine. Around nine. Well, that proves it. That proves my theory. She's flayed. Just like Billy. Flayed? The mind flayer. Flays people. Takes over their mind. Once they do that, they basically become him. Then there can be loads more. Heather. Heather. Yep. Billy was doing something. Neither going to assume it's going to be Heather as well. She was scared. She was screaming. <laughs> Screams. What's a good scream? Max, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, I'm lost. Who is Heather? She's Thank alive. Right now. Heather Holloway? Tom. Ah. Tom is the head report person. And Nancy was saying he was acting weird. Although, to me, it seemed like he was acting normally. <laughs> car knocking over a uh, bike's cliche. Oh, the Russians have found the car. This Terminator man specifically has found the car. He's an expert tracker. It's good to know. This man can do everything. I am not a mechanic. Yeah, clearly. That's why you should listen to Alexi. All oh, right, yeah. Your new boyfriend, right? Yes, every man I talk to from <laughs> now on has to be my boyfriend. Yeah, he, does, he reminds me a little bit of Russian Scott Clark. Oh, yeah, we yeah. have. Maybe you should go on a date. I don't know. I'm thinking like Enzo. Seven. Whoa. What? He's yeah. running. <laughs> 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 a 
That's what happens when you're focused on arguing when you're meant to be transporting an important person to get information from him. Oh. Just want to get the shot. I'm going to pay for that. I can't see anything on my right eye right now. All that sweat. Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so what are you, some kind of bounty hunter? I'm a cop. I'm undercover. But he's just stealing his car. Hey! 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 You hey! You hey! This is a police emergency, all right? I need to commandeer your vehicle. That man in there, I know he doesn't look it, but he is one of the most dangerous men in the world. <laughs> he's, uh... <laughs> Murdered many children. What? Ah, Detective Byers. Uh, oh, yes, he's be very dangerous. Uh, <laughs> a forger. Uh, yeah. Uh, child murder. Child murder. We should really get going. <laughs> hey, how do I get my car back? You just she, she's the not playing the game station. though, well, is she? Oh, I like the sound of that guy. Hey, what station? You're going the right way. That's what you get for trying to pretend to be one of the cool kids. Get your car commandeered or whatever he said. Taken. I'll just say the word taken. It's easier. You don't pay people, they cut corners. To be fair to our Russian comrades, I don't think this tunnel was designed for walking. Mm. I mean, think about it. They developed the perfect system for transporting that cargo. It all comes into the mall like any old delivery. And they load it up under those trucks, and mm. nobody's the wiser. It's probably being used to make something. Or power something. Like a nuclear weapon. Again, Prometheus. It's reminding me a bit of the goo from Prometheus that. Uh, Weirdly enough, turned into the aliens eventually and caused the aliens to bleed asses for blood. All these references, I think, are about alien there. That's close. And if there's one thing we know about that signal, it can reach the surface. Yes, it can. Let's go. So. Yeah, breaking in there. Heather? Oh, Jesus, it's freezing. My oh, eyes really cloudy right now. The cleaning products and the fertilizer again. You think they're puzzling this shit? Yeah, they're that. They just went on the. I don't understand why place. they need that. Mr. Clark, fifth grade, pause it. What happens when you mix chemicals together? You created a new substance. What if they're making something? No cells? I mean, come on, if you drink this crap, we'll kill mm -hmm. Yeah. Why, the, rat, the, the rats the rats, all died. What? Blood. Yesterday, Tom had a bandage on his forehead. It was a cat. Hold on, what? He was murdered with a candlestick in the library. Oh no. Oh god, that the basement was where they got turned. That monster was was he in their basement? No. No, he was in the same they were in the same basement that Heather was in. But which basement was that again? That was at that factory place where all the rats were blowing you must up. Have taken. You must have taken them somewhere. There must be a place where all this started, mm -hmm. right? Source somewhere he didn't want me to see. If we can find the source, then maybe we can stop him. It's sort of too late at the moment, I think. Mrs. Driscoll. Find her. If she wants to go back so badly, why don't we let her? Yeah. Follow her directly. Hey, whoa! Don't right now! You could say that. Some psycho stole that dude's car. What else? Don't look at them. At me. Tell me about this psycho. Oh, I know who this is. The Conspiracy theorist. The camera above you to the right. I was wondering whether he's going to come back in this. Identify yourself. Jim Hopper, Joyce Byers, Smirnoff. Alexi. Alexi. Well, I don't know, okay? Open the damn door! 
Привет из моего лица, ты лысая американская свинья. Я то может и лысый. А вот наручники на тебе сволы советские. Well, we know he speaks Russian then. Perfect. Hi, Now, what is that? Looks like a metal detector, but for his mind. It actually is a metal detector. Молчать, сволы. How long is this going to take? Because I know. No, 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 you do not get to question me. You have dragged an enemy of the state into my home as carelessly as a child drags in shit on his shoe. I will search him until I am satisfied. Jim, come here. Just come here. Do it it's all. Talk to you. He's not eccentric. He's certifiable. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Oh, hey. Do me a favor and move your lover's quarrel elsewhere, okay? Oh, oh. This? Not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me! What is your problem? Please, stop talking! No! We have been shot at, nearly blown up, walked God knows how many miles in a hundred degree heat, stole a car, all while being chased by this gigantic psychopath. Also, we could bring him to you. Because somehow, you're the closest person who speaks Russian, which I can't believe. But that doesn't matter, because unfortunately, we're here. So if you don't mind, put that thing away. Stop behaving like a jackass and ask him what he's doing that's making my magnets fall off my damn fridge. <laughs> you go, Joyce. And it's not all about your damn magnets. But it's a good place to start. Don't mess with Joyce and her magnets. <laughs>